Hi, I'm Michelle at Herbert Johnson Hatters and I'm here in the workshop today to talk about brims. Uh, in the past on our YouTube channel there's lots of information there about crown shaping but uh, so far I haven't talked to you about brims and what can affect the shape of your brim. And if you've not got a long oval, so it's the shape of your head that affects the shape of the brim the most. So this is what we're after. We're after a nice snap brim at the front, the curve gently going down at the back, and at the side you've got this elevation coming up. And if you've got a long oval, if I stretch the front to the back here, you see what happens, you get a more exaggerated lift in the sides. So that's how shape can affect uh, your, your brim shape. So if you've got a wider, then it will, uh, a wider shape to your head, then it will drop down because you've got a more round. So we use a standard oval. You can force it by using a hat stretcher. So if you've got a hat stretcher and you put that into your hat and you want a longer oval, you can then Bring that down so that you've got more lift. You're stretching the long oval of your hat and you just leave that to dry. A little steam can help. So we're going to take that off there for the moment. You could also um, get your head shape measured, drawn out and then a, a, a mould if you like. So you could keep that into the hat and then you could work on it while it's pretending to be on your head. So that's a good idea as well if you know someone who's handy with some good work. So if I take a hat, it's got the crown shaping all done, a bit flat in the brim. So what we want to do is take a steam iron. So this is just uh, things you might have lying around at home. So a steam iron, a kettle. This is a rabbit hat. So I'm only going to use a little bit of steam. You'd use more on a beaver or if you had a, uh, a heavier weight, say a western weight. Um, there would be more resistance and to uh, give it a little bit more steam than you would say a rabbit or a dress weight. So what we're after is that lovely slope towards the back. So you can put your thumbs so to preserve that curve then your fingers in the back where the uh, back of the sweatband is. Just let the weight bring that slope down until you're happy with it. Now if you just wanted to leave that as it is and let it set let it dry, just put it on a surface and let it dry. It's always good to have it hanging over the back. So if you're, if you're changing the shape, put it on your hat stretcher and let that settle in that position. So if we're going to do the sides now, so we want the sides to mimic, fake a long oval. So we want it there. So what we're going to do is put some steam to the sides, I'm going to put it on the hatch stretcher, and we're going to put it in between two, say um, you could use blocks, you could use cereal bowls upside down, you could use books, whatever you've got to hand and what we're doing is we're elevating the sides while keeping the snapped brim over the, the edge there. So if you're happy with that just walk away, leave it, let it dry, let it settle. When you come back, have a look at it. Is that enough? No, a bit more. Repeat the process. Maybe bring the stack of books or whatever you're using slightly closer. Don't use anything too sharp an edge because you can mark the underfelt. Easy to get rid of, but it's extra work. So you can uh, steam it and brush it to get rid of those marks if you've caused an indentation by what you're using. Something sloping. And then you can do it just gradually, a little bit at a time, until you're happy. And then you walk away, come back, and then once you've got enough curve on the sides, you're ready. Another thing, if you're looking for, say, a, a Spanish style with a very flat brim, if you're a long oval, that can really warp the brim. So um, it can work in the opposite direction. So with something like that, it really is useful to get a hat stretcher or a mould in a long oval shape and then you can use the steam iron to iron out where it's lifting at the side to reduce that lift and make a flat brim. So uh, do the opposite if that's, that's the issue you've got. So I hope that's been helpful today. 
and we'll see you again soon.